hi you guys thank you so very much once again for being here for another session for another episode of let's talk about it today we are talking about this one god will not let what you've lost be the best you've ever had now if this is your first time coming on to my channel welcome 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 if you are a newbie welcome if you're an oldie welcome back i share a sticky note and i call it a sticky note quote because it's all about me sharing the gospel with others on a sticky note but what god prompted me to do was go ahead and take this sticky note further and be able to explain it and talk to you guys about it because sometimes when i'm actually on my instagram account and which I'll go ahead and link down below for you as well as my TikTok. I want to explain it so badly, you know, in so many characters, but a lot of times I'm not able to do that. So therefore, God prompted me to go ahead and start this episode with you, this this series with you. And I am so excited to be on this journey with y'all. So yes i am bringing these sticky note quotes to life and we are breaking it down we are explaining it and i am so excited for us to go ahead and jump right into this one for today as we talk about your best is not your best that is the title before we get started if y'all have not seen the last video go ahead and check it out after you complete this one but i just want to go ahead and reiterate and let you guys know about my new collection from the handcrafted company that i have started and i have founded um actually two years ago but i basically redid it revamped it and everything and it's coming back with full vengeance full face um, and I'm so excited and so happy that God has placed this on my heart to share with you guys once again. So with the Handcrafted Company, it's, it's Christian-based clothing, and I have two sweatshirts that I have already showed to you guys today and last session. So go ahead and check out the last one um, in that video, in the previous video, if you not have done so already um, make sure that you do that after you finish this video though um, but i wanted to share with y'all this one that is called our god 301 and it's talking about god being the father the son and the holy spirit and i hope and pray that you are able to receive something from this message i pray that you um you know have the lord in your heart and you open up your heart and your mind to receive him and receive what he wants uh, what he has for you and what he wants to do in and through you let's go ahead and go to today's quote as i've already read earlier let's read it again it says god will not let what you've lost be the best you've ever had and this i immediately went to the scripture for the day and that's coming from lamentations chapter 3 verse 28 through 30. now this is one sticky note that i actually have on my a prayer wall not too far away from me right over to the side if you guys have seen that in my uh, video which I do have on here um, as a short so if you have not seen that go ahead and check that out I have it in a few videos as well as I do have it on my Instagram account as well as my TikTok that I'll go ahead and link down in the description box below for you but I wanted to share with y'all what a prayer wall looks like what I do with my prayer wall how it has really and truly helped me with reciting scripture remembering scripture and being able to pray scripture right being able to use scripture in my prayers not just praying but being able to use scripture and being able to speak god's word back to him and um, as a reminder to myself and as a promise that he has kept with me and uh so and what he said that he would do in and through my life and so i love to keep hold of that you know, I always, of course, go to my prayer wall as well to be able to pray, not just for me and what I'm asking for, but also what God wants to do through my life to be able to touch other people like you guys. And I am just so excited for what God is doing uh, in my life and what he wants to do through me and what he wants to do uh, in your life and through you as well so that you, it doesn't stop 
just with you, but it also projects onto other people what God is doing in your life. So um, the scripture that I definitely want to go ahead and come to today is coming from, like I said, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 28 through 30. It says, when life is heavy and hard to take, go off by yourself, enter in silence, bow in prayer, don't ask questions, wait for hope to appear. Don't run from trouble, take it full face. The worst is never the worst. Now, if we remember what this sticky note quote just said, it said, God will not let what you've lost be the best you've ever had. Now, the reason why, of course, I brought in that scripture of Lamentations chapter 3, verse 28 through 30 is because it goes hand in hand with what we're talking about today, that your best is not your best. What you have gone through can be traumatic and that's not, you know, and I don't excuse it. I don't, I don't, um, I don't take that lightly, right? Um, what you have probably gone through is traumatic. What you have probably gone through is a stumble and you don't necessarily know how to pick yourself up or you feel like, all hope is lost you feel like there's nothing else that you can do because everything that you've done has fallen to pieces in a way that you never expected it to happen um, there can be a plethora of different things that have happened in your life for each and every one of you in different ways that you're just like what is going on? How do I pick up the pieces from here? How do I move forward from all of this that I've worked so hard on? I feel so embarrassed because let's be honest, let's face it, is that when we go through things, no one is paying attention. However, how we perceive it and how we're looking at it, how we're thinking about it, is that, oh my gosh, the whole entire world knows exactly what I just did in my very own kitchen or in my very own family and that's how it actually is and that can be further from the truth let me just tell you that your best is not your best or what you have gone through is not the end of the road for you it is not the end all be all it is not the end of your life it is not the end of the book you have more chapters to come. You are still living. You are still here on this earth. Nothing has broken you. You feel like it has because it has torn you apart in ways where, you know, and, and torn you apart spiritually, mentally, um, emotionally, but it has not touched you physically. You can go ahead and you can get back up. You can recharge. You can energize. And the way that I do that is I get into God's word who where it has truly helped me every step of the way everything that i go through i go to god first i seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and i know that everything else after that will be added to me and i want to tell you the same thing that you have nothing to worry about that god is with you every step of the way that you would never that he would never leave you nor forsake you as he said in his word that you are his child and he will be with you through it all so you are not on this journey on your own you may be in a valley season right now but girl man you will be on the hilltop very soon but as you are in this valley season and you're going through what you're going through i don't want you to get discouraged and i don't want you to feel like you have to stop living you have to stop moving forward. Things will happen unexpectedly. Things will happen that you already saw a happening before it actually even happened. But that is not the end of your life and that is not the end of the book. That may be the end of that chapter, but guess what? There's a whole nother chapter coming your way filled with so much that God wants and has prepared for you to come into contact with. So I want to encourage you to stay the course, stay on board, don't get off the train, keep moving, 
there may be a derail here and there in your life don't succumb to your feelings because your feelings are only temporary your feelings of how you're feeling how you how you're feeling are in that moment but don't allow that to be your entire life don't allow that situation to dictate and defy your entire life when you have so much to offer you have so much to come into and god has it for you now that's on the on the part of if you've gone through something horrible and all the pieces are broken and and everything that also coincides with the best is not the best that the best that you feel like is your best that you have already come into you you're not done you're just scratching the surface god has so much more in store for you that he wants you to get in 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 alignment with all you have to do is just be ready and willing to open up that door and continue moving forward. Don't stay stagnant. Don't laxy days on God. Continue to move forward. Continue to press. Continue to push because there's so much more on the other side. There's another door. There's plenty of other doors on the other side of that one door that you just came through. There are so many other doors that God wants to bring you towards to go ahead and open so that you can walk through them. But I don't want you to get stuck and I don't want you to stay where you are thinking that um, and being comfortable where you are thinking that that is it, that you've reached your peak. And then all, after that, everything is over. No, with God, all things are possible um, and he makes it all happen. So where you are, you may be at your best, but that's not your best. You have so much more to offer so much more to give so much more to do and god wants to help you and see you through it all so i want to leave you with that and i hope that this helped you um today and i want to leave you with an affirmation or a scripture so let's go ahead and get into it i am god's workmanship i want to remind you that you are God's workmanship, that you are handcrafted by the one and only God. He has so much in store for you, and he has so much that he wants to do in and through your life. And he wants to see it be done through you. He wants to use you as a living vessel to be able to go out to the world, to be able to spread the good news, to be able to do the, the things that he has for you to do on this earth with the gifts that he has blessed you with. I hope that you don't stop where you are just because you hit a roadblock. I hope that you don't stop where you are just because you think that you're at your peak. There's so much more that God wants to do in you. There's so much more that he has in store for you, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. So I hope and pray that this message, this session has helped you with encouragement and to keep moving forward in the best way. And I will talk to you guys in the next session. Until then, bye.